you know what it is, kings and queens. My American dream, vlog 14, coming at ya. So kings and queens, I'm sure you understand my philosophy on success right now. Consistency is key to being successful. So with this being said, nothing's really changed from last month. My first earned income is my sales gig where they're developing me to sell their products. Basically eight to five paid me $2,800. Fridays and Saturdays, my truck gig paid me $1,600. The source of income, which is earned income, is my door to door sales. This brought me a total of $5,700 for the month of May. Seven months after all expenses are paid. You guys know the first hat trick I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take all that money that I have, the real estate fund, I'm gonna buy a million dollar 
property, which takes my net worth to a million dollars. The second magic trick is when we compile all this information, we take it, put it into books, take it into audio books, get that first check for $300,000. It's gonna take my net worth to 1.3. My online sales business is just continually to grow, to grow, to go. I'm gonna say it averages about 5,000 a month. I'm not the kind of guy who wants to continue doing this type of work when I'm done with the American dream. So at the end of it, I'm gonna sell it to somebody for 100 Gs. Again, the website builder business that I start is not something I want to continue to have my hands in the pot. That's generating me between three and 5,000. I'm gonna sell the business and the clients to somebody for 75 Gs when the American dream is over. And then my final hat trick is gonna be when I graduate from university, when I'm able to start selling the product for big money, guaranteed me a minimum of a quarter million dollar a year salary. After a year of just hardcore working my ass off with no resources, building everything on my own, I'm gonna be able to generate 1.5 million to 1.7 million at net worth. So I'm sure by now you guys know how I feel that there's no one holding you back with except the person in the mirror. But as I've been thinking and contemplating going over these past seven months, I, I know I said I came out here with no resources, right? Just the G in my pocket, a whip to get me around, nothing else. No business contact use and nothing else. There were three other things that I overlooked that I did bring that are actually the keys to my success for myself. So the first thing that I always take for granted that I figure most people have is the art of communication. Without the ability for me to articulate the point I'm trying to get across, I wouldn't be successful. So tip is become effective at communicating. The number two thing I brought with me out here is confidence. Confidence is key no matter what you're doing in life. If you're not confident, things aren't going to work out for you. People are going to see right through that and aren't going to believe in you. So two, get your confidence up. Three thing I actually brought with me that was instilled in me at an early age from my mama is character. People will be willing to bend over backwards for you if you're willing to bend over backwards for them. If you're out there snaking, lying, deceiving, you're not going to get very far. But if you are genuine and you truly care about the other person across from you, they will help you achieve great things. So character, get your character up. So kings and queens, I'm going to leave you with what I always leave you with. There is no one out there holding you back, holding you down, trying to control you like a puppet. To be honest with you, most people don't really give a fuck about you. You know, and I can always say you have one choice. You're one choice away from changing your life. You might as well change it for the positive. And I've been a poor man. I've been a rich man. Money won't buy you happiness, but it makes life so much easier. So kings and queens, join me on my journey to become a million dollar net worth individual in one year. If I can do it, you can do it. Let's go, baby. Fat boy, guns.